hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm felicity and today we have another mods video but today it is all about my infant babies today i want to showcase some cc and mods that i recently downloaded for my infants and then some of them that i'm showcasing are ones that i just have in my game so we're gonna start off in cas and then we're gonna go to overrides and build buy items and then lastly we'll end off the video with some mods that i find are very realistic to have in your game for infants and also could give a lot more gameplay as well all right our two infants that are going to be showcasing all of the cc for cast items imani and also messiah so imani is my sim self's baby and messiah is aoki and elijah's baby so i wanted to show you guys female infants and also male infant cc as well we're gonna get into some skin details and i felt like i was lacking a lot in the infant category which doesn't benefit me especially right now that all that my sims do is knock each other's boots and procreate but we're gonna start off with um, some skin details I'm just gonna show you I'm not showing you guys everything but I'm gonna show you guys um, a couple of things that I like a couple of CC pieces that I love to have for my infants so the first one skin details category is for both female and male frames pyrus skin blend so this is a pyrus skin blend right here uh i think that says theuja i don't even know these are skin blends by nessary and i actually do use these sometimes on my adult sims this skin blend is literally like amazing like i love how there's different ones as well and they're all just so freaking cute to me so I just love these skin blends so 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 bad like real bad and then we have some from northern siberia winds and these are infant skin n1 we have this skin right here and it's super freaking cute too like i just love the detail as well like it is adorable even like this one is hella cute too all right and then the next skin detail that i just actually recently put in my mods folder and this is the early days skin detail by oito i believe that's how you pronounce the creator's name but basically you get you can see basically like different creases in the baby's skin there's also some that come like right by the nose and then there'll be some on the chin i'm actually gonna take off her um pacifier real quick so you guys could fully see so yeah we have some different ones here so like little creases like how cute is that that is just so freaking adorable they definitely have become a must have for my infants even though i literally just downloaded them and the next one for skin details also is accessories as well but these are the infant eyelashes made by hijiko so they come in the skin details and also they come in the accessory she has accessory ones but i know messiah has the ones in the skin details so I'll show you guys that after but yeah so these are the eyelashes that i love so 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 bad like it's very subtle very cutely very demure so now i'm gonna get into some of my favorite infant cc hair creators so my favorite ones have to definitely <laughs> my favorite ones for alpha i'm just gonna do like alpha and maxes and if you guys don't know the difference between alpha and maxes maxes match basically fits more in the game and alpha is just realistic. I am most definitely a mix between Maxis Match and also Alpha. For Alpha infant hairs, I definitely recommend using CC Sims, Ebonix, and also Black Sims. So they have absolutely beautiful hairs. Like these are just so freaking cute. This these are a couple from Black Sims. And then we have some from CC Sims. Like, please stop. Like, this is so freaking cute. I know some of these hairs are actually for toddlers as well. So not just infants, but probably toddlers. And like, I would give my Sims these hairs like when she gets a little older. But when she's a little baby, I just feel like, you know, she should have like a little, a little bit of hair. And then for Maxis Match, Shy Simbler, Kyra Zerk, raven sims and go amazon i just actually found out about go amazons and these are some of their hairs right here oh not that one Two, these are some of their hairs right here like just so freaking adorable like i love this one right here it is so freaking cute ah, like this just makes me want to play with infants so much more even like the texture as well and these are ones by shy simbler 
And just look at the detail. Oh my god, the little the little cherry curls. Oh, they're so freaking cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. I wanted to also show you guys some of these, which are very much like straight out the womb type of hairs, which I love these so much. I think these are by Sims with Shan. So I'm gonna link those ones as well. Um, this is one of them, and then there's another one right here. Like, that is so cute. And then if you pair it with like a little bow, it would just fit so perfectly together. Okay, so some accessories for both um, male and female frames are just like these pacifiers. So here is one of the pacifiers. It does conflict with her eyelashes, which is very unfortunate. I'm not sure if it conflicts with the one in skin details, but I obviously don't use this one because <laughs> it conflicts with their eyelashes, but this is the Butterfly Pacifier by Vintage Simmer, and it comes in different colors, as you can see here. I love this pacifier. I love this one. This is definitely one of my go-to. These two right here. This is another one um, made by Vintage Simmer, and this is the Bear Pacifier. I use this one like it's crack. Some accessory creators are Camouflage, Ebonix, Kyle Luna, and Milky Me. So here are some earrings from camouflage and they do make some other cc like collections and stuff and i love i'm obsessed with all of their cc like oh every single piece beautiful <laughs> so here are the ones from ebonix so we have like the bow since she has like the bow we could like make it a different color which is so freaking cute and i know felicity would definitely put on this pink one but I just had it white because it just matched her outfit a little better. Most of the hairs that come with Black Sims or Ebonix, um, they do come with accessories as well. And then some hats and like hat accessories. Here is a cute little bear hat made by Milky Me. And it's just so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, like I can't. This makes me just miss so much of family gameplay. Another hat, but this is made by Paoluna. Just cute little hats made for infants. And then here are some made by Ebonix. And I believe Messiah is actually wearing this one, this hat for one of his outfits. But this is just so cute as well. Like I said before, some of the accessories do come with hairs. Okay, next is we're gonna get into some clothing. I'm just gonna like list some of the creators that I feel like you guys should definitely check out for CC clothing for infants. So we have some by Paluna right here. That's like a little graphic tee. And I think it's so cute. And it's also in Simlish too. Then we have this shirt by um, Milky Me. And like, I just don't wanna say cute for every single thing that I see, but like all of these are just so cute. I just can't, I can't deal. It's just so much cuteness. So this one, this is like a coastal um inspired, I believe. So this is made by Amelina. I'm so sorry if I bitched their name. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. But here's like a coastal kind of jumper. There's like swatches where you could just have them wear, you know, just cute little colors. There's some made by Cat Purpura. Here are some of the swatches for this little jumper right here. And then there's like a bear one, which I've actually used a quite a bit in the past. And I just haven't been playing with infants, so I haven't been using them, but I love this jumper right here. But like I said, I am going to be listing these down below for you guys. But here's like a bear jumpsuit, which is perfect for like sleepwear or just like every day, honestly. And this little bear one as well. And this is another creator. This is the creator that I was talking about, Camouflage. And look how cute. Ah! Super, super adorable. Like, we go to little brunches with these outfits and, you know, go see grandparents. And we have some more jumpers by um, Paloon as well. All right, then for shoes, I am obsessed with these little slippers right here. And these are made by a Nighting Ale Sims. And then we have these from Jewess. And they have, like, a whole infant pack collection. So I definitely recommend you guys go and check that out. Because these little booties are super cute. These like matching bear slippers. I guess that came with the, the matching set from Milky Me. And these little cute slippers as well made by Sims 4 Nexus. And we have these little socks from Ebonix. And I've been 
obsessed with these. I've definitely needed socks because before I discovered the wearable Maxis feet, which I'm going to show you guys in a second, before I discovered that mod, I was just using these because if you use socks with the realistic feet mod, then the toes will come through like the socks. It just looks very tacky. So I've been using these socks. Oh, look at these little booties. Oh, they're so cute. So this is Messiah, Aoki, and Elijah's baby. Their new bundle of joy. So for the hairs for the males, I'm going to get into some Maxis and also Alpha just like how we did for... A female infants so some of my favorites have to definitely be from Johnny Sam so these are Maxis um, match hairs right here and then also go Amazon's has some cute ones for boys which he was actually wearing one of them which is this little curly um, hair and then there's like other ones here too and then some alpha infant hair from Ebony so these little <laughs> Oh my gosh, I didn't, I didn't see this. I actually did not see this at all, but this is absolutely the cutest hairstyle I've ever seen for little baby boys. Oh my gosh, and we got the curly, the curls version. Oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna cry, cause like, that is so cute to me. All right, and then we have this like curly hair right here. And we have this like mohawk made by Ebonix as well. And the boys have a little less accessories, but some of the accessories um, do come with the hairs and stuff like that. I already went over the pacifiers, but yeah, they kind of lack in accessories or lack for me at least. I haven't really found a lot of um, baby boy infant CC, but there is a couple that I want to share with you guys. When it comes to the clothing, they're basically from the same creators, um, but I did want to show you guys some clothing made from a certain creator, which is, this one is, I think that this one is by Comp, no, I believe this is by Sim Locker. So it's like a little Jordan outfit, and it also comes with a matching head, um, a matching hat. And then the, like this little Nike outfit, which he actually was wearing. I actually don't know where this is from, but I will try and link it down for you guys. And then we have like these little onesies by Nika Knight. Oh my gosh, this would be perfect in the winter time. Like that is so cute. I thought they had like the little mittens and stuff. <laughs> I fell in love when I seen this little tuxedo for the for the boys. Like he is definitely wearing this for his formal outfit, but this is the absolute cutest. And then we have like this little pumpkin outfit made for Halloween. I'm just showing you guys literally my whole entire like CC thing, cause yeah. We have these by Paoluna for the boys. Have a little a little pocket. Maybe they can they can stuff their boogers in there. That's disgusting, but <laughs> And then there's like this little one right here. I believe I showed you guys this for um, the female babies, but but it's like a little cape that they have in the back. And I think it's so freaking adorable. For shoes, it's basically the same thing for my females. There's some like little socks made by Ebonix. Like these are like luxurious socks. You know, rich mommy and daddy got me these <laughs> type of socks. And I love these. Ah! <laughs> I don't even know where these are from, but I'll try and link them for you guys as well. Alright, so I just wanted to point out some extra cast mods for infants. So you guys can probably see um, the little cushion that he's laying down on. And this is like a recolor. And this is made by Tikalu. And I have the, obviously the beige version, but you can only have one override in your game. And then another one is a cast tuning mod, which I have the classic version, but there's another version where the infants actually do stand up. And then this is the wearable feet thing that I was talking about. And it's actually another version for adult sims because of the fact that if you have socks on, I'm gonna show you guys actually. As you can see, he has socks on, but his toes are going like through the socks instead of it looking like, you know, it's in the sock. So they have like the Maxis feet. So it looks like, you know, a little bit more realistic. And there's also a version for the adult sims as well, but it's not by the same creator. This is editing Felicity here. Um, I just want to let you guys know that the same creator that makes the wearable Maxis feet for the adult sims, they actually do have the same version for all of the, the ages. So I will link that down below for you guys. But this is definitely essential that I want to show you guys. 
just in case you were like me and I was like, damn, like why are the toes looking like this with the slipper? I mean, with the socks, it looks so ugly, so tacky. So now you know about this uh, wearable Max's Feet mod. Now going on to some overrides for infants. So the first override is a baby bottle override made by Milky Me. And I just discovered this little override. So when we bottle feed our babies, we'll have a different bottle. So here is how it looks. And a little close up of the baby bottle. I believe that there is different colors that you could choose from, but I just chose a gender neutral color, which is like the beige. Just like how I did the same color with the with the little cushion and cast. So the next override is this rubber duck override made by Chanel for Sims. And I'll show you guys the comparison between the EA rubber ducky and also the Chanel for Sims version. But this is a little close up. <laughs> it's so cute. And then the next um, override is this sponge here. And this is a bath sponge override made by Vixen's Pixels. Baby Messiah is taking his little bath and he didn't want to take off his shoes, y'all. <laughs> All right, my next mod here is the Bye Bye Baby Rug Invisible Override made by Build By Mode. As you can see, we don't have the big old rug that the infants do come with. And he is having a tantrum because he does not want to be on the floor, but I needed to show them the mod, okay? <laughs> like, dang. So my last and final mod for the override section is the infant plate override in the high chair. So, um, Masai actually doesn't, isn't able to sit at the high chair and actually like eat food because he doesn't have the milestone. So I'm just gonna cheat it real quick. So what I actually had to do was oh, cheat it in MC Command Center, but now we could give yeah. him some finger food. And you guys can kind of see the override in here a little bit, but I'm gonna have him um, grab some banana slices. And here is the plate. Um, you can't really see it because of the CC. Uh, I'm gonna see if I could actually move this real quick. Ah! see he disliked the banana slices okay let's try um the odos <laughs> hold on i'm gonna put it right here real quick so you guys can see but there's a little bear under the under the little little cheerios i have taken it from the counter you know what you're ungrateful that's the problem all right and now we are on to a build and buy objects for infants so the first build buy item that i want to showcase is this infant playmat the dangle master deluxe by sims labs and it is just like a regular play mat. It comes in, I think, four different swatches. What your infants could do on it is um, to look at toys, try go night night, and also tummy time. And I believe if they have certain milestones unlocked, then they can play with the toys. Um, but I basically unlocked all of his milestones, so he might have um, certain interactions that your infants may not have. So, of course since i unlocked all his milestones he can do tummy time by himself so the next build by item is this snuggle in basket and this is made by dollish but there is a recolor by milk in me it's like a super cute recolor so i will link both of them down below but this original one is by dollish and basically it acts as a crib with this little bassinet there is other swatches that you could choose from as well but yeah it just acts as a crib but i feel like it is such a cute piece especially for like storytelling and you know you want to have your baby next to you while you're working and stuff all right this is a another little snuggle in but this is part six and this is by dollish and i'm pretty sure you guys have seen this cc item on another video when i was playing i don't remember what it was called but it was with kaylani um he was in this i believe it was this exact one this is basically like the crib and you could upgrade it add like a baby mobile i feel like it's just super freaking cute like the babies have their own little 
little seat, you know, if everyone's watching like a movie or something and you want the baby to be around, you don't want to leave him upstairs or leave her upstairs. All right, so we're in my SimSelf's household because I wanted to show you guys two build by items. This is the Fairylicious Chimera toy and this is by Felix Andre and the Clutter Cat. And basically, Felicity, she has a childish trait, so we're able to like play with the toys and we can press to talk and also play with emotion. I don't know if this is with every single toy that she's able to like interact with. I don't think so. So I just found it really interesting and I thought you could actually do this with just any sim, but unfortunately not. <laughs> so that's basically how it works and I believe she could play with emotion as well and also name it did that say I think so I wanted to show you guys this baby steps infant activity walker by Shuby Sims so this actually only works if your toddler has the pull to stand milestone so I just unlocked that real quick for her but um, we can pull to stand on this little thing and I believe she actually gets a bit better with stand <laughs> Why is that so cute? She's in her knees to walk. Stop. She's honestly the cutest. Look at her. Oh. With her little pet. Oh, see, baby. Oh, y'all, don't mind this. I can't get rid of this grim reaper stuff. You guys like her room? So off topic, right? You guys like her room? I did a little speed build on my TikTok. You guys want to check that out. And I have some, some sub content coming on my TikTok as well. But yeah, look at her. <laughs> it's me taking a picture when she's crying. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, it just helps her, you know, get her balance and she does practicing standing up. So a Eventually one day she won't have to be she won't have to school on her knees now on to the last and final section Which is mods for infants. All right a mod that I wanted to show you guys is a pacifier mod by sims katu and basically you can get you can get functional pacifiers for your infants or toddlers and Basically you could just use the pacifier and then you can also remove it. So I'm gonna show you guys how that works but i need him to change his outfits all right so when it's time for him to use the pacifier you can just click on it you can put it in your um in your infant's inventory and they'll just pick it up and put it in their mouth and this is how the pacifier looks very cute and it does also soothe them when they are crying and stuff like that so it's not just you know a functional pacifier has its like perks and stuff to it. All right, the next mod I'm gonna show you guys is that infants and toddlers can sit anywhere made by Simcatu. So we have invisible furniture items that you'll just basically put anywhere. I would believe that you would use these for the certain objects. So there are seven different places you can put your toddlers or infants. So if you're, use, if you're putting them on a countertop, I would just use the countertop. Okay, so basically I did it wrong, but <laughs> um, just make sure that this little tag thing is right. Like you're able to see it and it should work, but it's basically like a high chair and you can just put them on there. <laughs> and if you have like another toddler, you can have them talk on the chairs. And this is functional with countertops. You're able to do this on the bed, the tables, a sofa also like a bedside table a coffee table as long as you actually put one of these in the right places then it should work and make sure that the tag is out here as well because that was my first mistake but it's so cute it's so adorable they want to feel grown so they're sitting on their countertops <laughs> All right, another high chair mod is the sit in the parents' lap and also the Big Bites booster seat. So basically how, how this works is your infants or toddlers could sit with their parents or maybe even a friend that's stopping by. If you guys click on this little black thing right here, when you get the invisible high chair, if you click on that black thing and then you'll get the high chair options. So basically you could have him sit or have her sit down in the high chair. So she'll just like put him in. And then with the steady sit mod, you can have your sim sit down. 
and it basically yeah, looks like yeah. they're sitting with their parents. Oh my gosh. Look, girl, I said study shit. Anyway, so this is how it looks. It's like they're sitting with their parents, and I feel like this is so cute. Feel like they're a part of something. So I find this so adorable. So this brings me to the end of today's video, you guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and you found some mods that you would like to play in your personal gameplay. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let me know if you guys want to see a toddler version of this video because there isn't too many mods that I could showcase for infants because they are just newborns. They're learning and growing so there isn't too many but I hope you guys found at least one mod to put in your game. But I'll talk to you guys on my very next video. And I'm going to try to not leave you guys hanging for three weeks again. Bye! <laughs>